drinking for the first first part of this evening then um so yeah let's talk about sex sex is strange sex is bizarre sex is weird um and it can tell us a lot about evolution which is why good old charlie d wrote about it in uh, an entire book based on it called the descent of man and selection in relation to sex uh, he wrote this after the origin of species and like most sequels i suppose it wasn't as popular as the original, that's not to say it wasn't a creative masterpiece. Um, but he was really interested because of what sex could tell us about evolution. Um, and all the stories in evolution that are brought out when we start stud studying sex. And so I've only got 20 minutes, so I can only take you on a brief foray through the wonderful uh, back streets of Sodom and Gomorrah. And you have already... <laughs> it's, it's ridiculous. I'm guessing it's fake. Um, and, I, I mean, if it isn't, let me know where it is, definitely. <laughs> and so I can't go into all the detail, but I can hopefully point out some of the interesting sights along the way. So if you're wondering who on earth I am, who is it that plays crazy music at the start of talks, uh, then I am an evolutionary biologist, and this is what I spend most of my time doing, I watch flies having sex in test tubes. <laughs> it's more interesting than it sounds. No, it's not. Uh, <laughs> and so I, again, like Darwin, comparing myself to Darwin, that's going to go well. I study sex because of what it can tell us about evolution and all the intricacies of evolution. <laughs> 